308th career fight for referee Steve St. Germain as we will get underway seeing the undefeated Christian Mbele before we get to the light heavyweight Let's unified world championship. Timmy, what do you see in Mbele when you scout him? Tess, I can just tell you this. You see the aggression right away. He gets right to it, to the action. Extremely, a lot of, a lot of volume. Not only volume, he has punching power to go along with it. Has an extensive amateur pedigree. But you see the relentless, the relentlessness that he fights with, the Wait. intensity that he fights with, the tenacity he fights with. That's what I like about him. Quick to try to work on the inside behind that jab. Was able to place a left hand to the body. Comes with a right uppercut and then return fire for Murdoch. Murdoch, a 13 year veteran, did have a decent amateur career before he turned pro. He's 31 years old, but this is his first fight in 307 days. Well, he's looking sharp right now. He's just taking advantage of those low points. When oh, there's a right up. uppercut on the inside from Mbilly. And Billy, sometimes he'll sit mid range, don't do any work. And Murdoch could have some success coming around that guard of Mbilly. The biggest problem with Mbilly is, is that his offense is his defense. And there's times where he gets a little bit wide with his shots, gets off balance, and he can be countered. Just, just like that. Jab. That jab. Right there. Yep. The jab from the Australian Murdoch from Queensland, Australia. Chris Carden's trainer has been with him for 19 years. Since he was a young amateur. Back to the jab for Murdoch. Murdoch's using experience right now. He just he's weathering the storm right now. He's using his jab and he's trying to maintain his distance. Well, and Billy, and Billy, he pushed that frantic pace. And you gotta find a way and you slow the pace down with the jab. You get him, get him used to the shoot, hitting that jab or getting used to him uh, filling that jab, then you're able to follow up with combinations. <laughs> Four inch height differential, same reach shot. though among these two. Short right hand on the inside, digs to the body with both a left and a right, splits the guard with a right yep. hand, does Mbilly. Yep, every punch that Mbilly throws has bad intentions on him. He wants to knock his opponents out. 21 knockouts in his 25 wins. That is not a knockdown. Not a knockdown. Not at all. Coming to the end of round number one in front of this raucous crowd here in Quebec. Round number two here with Christian Mbilly and Rohan Murdoch. Interesting circumstances in the corner for Christian Mbilly, Timmy, and that is that he's been trained his entire pro career by Mark Ramsey. Mark Ramsey, of course, one of the most prominent trainers in the sport. He's based out of Montreal, but you see Mark right there. He is back in the locker room with the light heavyweight champion, Archer Better Biev, who, of course, is his charge, and they have a mighty task ahead of them coming up next. So the fact that his other fighter, Christian Billy, is in the co-feature, he can't be out there with Billy, plus be back there with the light heavyweight champion to prepare him. So Samuel DeCarri, who's been a long-time assistant trainer in that camp, steps up to be chief second for Billy tonight. Look, Mark Ramsey's main focus is is better be his. He's his number one fighter, no doubt. You know, and. With the experience that Mbilly has, the amateur pedigree that he has, you know, all the training is done. All he has to do is go out here and do what he trained to do. So I don't think there's going to be any issues tonight in that corner of Mbilly. Right uppercut and then a chopping right hand. It was just a glancing blow. There he digs to the body again with both a right and a left. Tries to place the uppercut. A little bit of return fire from Murdoch. And there is Dikari. Good work on the inside, and a right hand comes over the top from Mbilly. See, Jeff, this is why I like Mbilly. He takes chances, he's fearless, he co throws combinations, and every shot is a death blow. Three-punch combination, that. finishes with a right hand. 
And then comes over the top of the left. They are squared up shoulder to shoulder. And Billy's putting forth offense. Good output here in this first half of round two. See, this type of fight right here is going to favor Billy for sure. The inside fight. Murdoch has to keep his distance, stay on the outside. That's where he's going to have success. If he fights this fight, I don't believe he has the stamina to keep up with Billy. Nice right uppercut, uppercut, splitting the guard. And over the top again with that right hand. Comes around the guard again. Oh, he's that double a big uppercut. second round. Test. And he brings this type of intensity every single round. Right to the body. Uh oh, right here comes Murdoch. Murdoch, wide swinging, <laughs> fat right hand off the mark. Action packed second round. We've had action throughout the entire car here in Quebec. What Murdoch needs to do is he needs to invest in the body of Mbilly. Attack that body. Take some of the steam out of that punches. Take some of that stamina away, especially Left in the later round. Sends him back. Murdoch off the Oh, he heard right him with that. Right in the center of the ring. This is a good showcase round for the rising contender, the undefeated 25-0 oh. Christian and Billy. Boy, these fans here in Quebec getting a real treat, and you saw right there in that split double box during the commercial break, the power punching from Christian and Billy Timmy. He was 40 of 77 in the second round alone on power punches. You see his total there through two rounds. But in the second round, he landed 40 power punches. That's what Mbilly brings. He brings the pain. He brings the intensity. And again, he, he gets hit with shots also, especially when he rests in the inside. You see Murdoch having success here and there, going down to the body and occasionally sneaking up top. But just that intensity, that explosiveness that he has, the speed on those punches, that's tough to deal with. And let's the veracity of those shots. Look at those shots, man, he's throwing. Let's check in with our ace reporter, Bernardo Asuna. I spoke with Chris Carton. He says Rowan needs to Ooh. hit on the inside and use his straight punches. He just can't stand there. He's got to trade. You can hear the body punches okay, as well. And Billy with 20 body punches to this point. Now he's backing up Murdoch. See, and Billy, he fights at a pace that that you have to either stay on the outside, you have to have good legs, and be able to make them miss and make them pay, or you got to fight with them. Murdoch right now is choosing to fight with them, but man, he's taking a ton of damage. It's, it's almost over, Tess. My goodness, that body work. How about the angle he takes out to the right, then to the left to be able to land those headshots, and Murdoch oh, now trying to create space oh, and we, fire back. We talking about toughness? Murdoch for sure. It's showing his toughness right now. His right uppercuts by M. Billy. You just get the sense one of them is going to be TNT. Jab to the body, just touching him now. Varied attack. There's a little upshot off the hip. Goes back with a left to the work. body. He Come. wants to go down. You see his face right there, a little grimace from Murdoch. He wants to go down, but he's fighting back. He's tough. He punches through that right uppercut exchange. Oh! Showing Look some at Murdoch here. <laughs> Round number three, another right uppercut fired off from a Billy. And a good jab. And then bodywork finishes with a three-punch combination that comes up top with the right hand. There's a free. Ooh, big shot over the top. Didn't get all of it, but a big shot indeed. Two punch combination finishes with a left upstairs. Murdoch willing to step into that kitchen. Danger fighting. zone indeed as they exchange and he catches him and backs him out. Lead right hand, more body work. This is a superb Look at the inside fighting. Punching. Superb inside fighting right here. Sweeping Doubles. right hand. Backs him up against the ropes. Closing seconds of round three. <laughs> Another three punch combination with two to the body. Takes the angle, just misses with the left hook. Oh, we got a fun night of fights, folks. We were so impressed by what Mbilly did in the second round, Timmy, with the power punches. Mm -hmm. He just topped it in the third. He was 41 connect power punches out of 73. He's landing 50% of his total power punches through three rounds. He's landed 94 power punches. There you see the impressive last round. That's more where that came from. I told you, the intensity that he fights with, the motor that he brings into this ring, 
Ramsey said he's never seen anybody with the motor that in Billy has in the 30 years that he's been working in boxing. Veteran trainer Mark Ramsey, who you are going to see in moments in our light heavyweight world championship fight. He's the trainer of Archer Better Bia. He says M. Billy has the best cardio he's ever seen, the capacity, how he pushes himself. And when they do the heart rate recovery between rounds, they say it's a number that's off the charts. So he can go and go at this pace. Bernardo. Samuel Dickery, who's stepping in for Mark Ramsey, said, look, I want M. Billy to keep using that jab to set up the power shots, body first, finish to the head, and more importantly, stay defensively responsible. That is what he has done with that combination mm. going to the body first. He has landed 32 body punches. There he comes with the uppercut. That's the uppercut. I like that from, from Murdoch right there. Using that uppercut, and Billy, he squares up. And he leans forward. The uppercut is available for Murdoch. Murdoch goes to the body himself, tried to catch it between punches What's with a left hook. What's your head? Murdoch, Murdoch has to get his back off those ropes. Has to try to keep this fight in the center of the ring. Ooh, big shot over the top. Murdoch tries to wrap around with the left hand to the body. <laughs> Billy now closing that gap. Both men to the body. Short right hand upstairs by Christian and Billy. Ooh. Doubles up the left hook Scramble. upstairs. <laughs> Murdoch stands up to it, just gets out of the way, and then fires back, and now he's on the offensive. Let's go. <laughs> Look at Murdoch. This Australian is showing some heart and some yes, toughness. He, is. he has overcome so much oh. adversity. He eats a big He don't right have a mouthpiece, hand. I don't think. Protect yourself at all times. Just ain't another one. <laughs> mouthpiece got, mouth knocked, out. got knocked, knocked down. And look That's at the not. shiner around his left eye. There was no low of the action. Watch this thing fly out. Oh, man, is that good boxing eye candy. And you saw top rank executive Carl Moretti pick up that mouthpiece and just throw it back in the ring. See a little low right now from and Billy. He's starting to recharge. Ooh, big right hand just sliding in. Murdoch should get on his jab, get on his jab a little bit, be able to set up some shots. End of round four. He changes speeds, he changes levels. He'll come over the top with right hands. He'll go down to the body, changes the chat, varies his attack very, very well. Good stuff from him, Billy. So you know Canelo Alvarez is king of the hill at 168 pounds. This is the guy that's right there, high up in the rankings, number one contender in two of the sanctioning bodies. So he's trying to remain in contention. As he says, there's one goal. It's a big goal. Oh. I want to fight with Canelo, and I want it soon. Round number five here against Murdoch for M. Billy. Let's bring in Mark Kriegel and hear his scorecard. 40-36, no surprise there. It's easy to see what Mark Ramsey saw in M. Billy. This is what he specializes in. An Olympian who didn't medal, whose skills will translate, whose power will translate better in the pros. By the way, hats off to Rohan Murdoch, oh man. He goodness. didn't get the memo. He did not get the memo. He's a tough kid. As long as he just come back with some offense. If he comes back to some offense, he'll have success. And Billy is now doesn't have the best defense. Especially when he's sitting there at mid-range and he's recharging. That's the time for Murdoch to get some get back. There's mm. that right hand to the body, right hand upstairs again. Murdoch stands up to it and now turns around. He reminds me of like Jeff Lacey. Remember uh, Jeff yes, Lacey? Absolutely. Negative, similar with the explosiveness. Yes. Jeff was very athletic, very explosive. There's a nice an angle, angle out, out to the right to be able yeah. to land the left hand. Nice little lateral shift. Oh. Big right hand. <laughs> Murdoch stands up to it. Now backs up against the ropes. My goodness. 
Target practice test. Two punch combination Target from Billy. 25 and 0. Sometimes you can just be too tough for your own good. What a fan Murdoch. friendly style. Yes, it is, Tess. When I watched him on film, I said, oh my goodness. I said, this kid is a beast. What a perfect night to put him in the coat feature, right? Ooh, Just up nice the road from where he lives and trains oh, in Montreal. He heard him. And these local fans loving every minute of it. Backs him up with that right hand. Now he digs to the body again. Comes across, just missed with the sweeping right hand. Doesn't miss with that. Closing moments here in round number five. And Murdoch's in trouble against the ropes. Smothered by him, Billy. Eye swollen. Body damaged. Ooh. Big right hands. He is taking and taking and taking. Veteran Australian trainer Chris Carton just told Rohan Murdoch, if I see you in trouble one more time, I'm throwing in the towel. Let's see if Christian and Billy can get him to that place. But great concern in the corner of Rohan Murdoch, who has absorbed 161 power punches in only five rounds. This fight could end at any moment. Murdoch got a chin on him. My goodness, he took some hellacious shots throughout the course of this fight. You see him with the towel in his hand. There is great concern with how much damage his fighter has taken. That is Chris Carden. The towel is in his hand, ready to go at any moment, and his charge right now is putting forth an offensive effort. Yeah, he's fighting back. But now he's against the ropes in the, in the wrong spot against Mbilly. Good job getting himself off the ropes, turning off the ropes there. Steve St. Germain, the referee, was giving it a look at the end of the last round. Now the corners ready to call it if they have to. And Billy, not at the same pace we saw earlier, but as you know, he can switch that gear and go on the attack. Murdoch trying to meet him fire with fire right in the kitchen, shoulder to shoulder. But that's what it is, Tess. That's exactly what it is. It's the fact that Murdoch is actually letting his hands go. And then Billy is slowing down his offense because he has to worry about defense, what's coming back at him. See, Murdoch can get in this fight if he just lets his hands go. Murdoch did that with a lead yeah. right hand moments ago from range. And don't sit directly in front of him, Billy. And then Billy seems to me, it seems like he needs you to be still to be able to throw those salacious combinations. A good round right here from Murdoch. Good combination, getting himself out. Then in Billy, he's, he's looking to recharge and, and down he's going to explode. Now in Billy with him against the ropes, there's a right hand. Takes the angles, oh. right uppercut, comes in. Big shot. Right hand comes back from Murdoch, having a much better round, but still his corner concern. The towel is in his trainer's hand. Trying to meet him, left hook comes in. Final 30 seconds. Murdoch fighting back as best he can. Looking to survive. A little bit of blood coming from the nose of yes, Christian and Billy, the undefeated contender. And Murdoch's trainer has put the towel down. He has seen enough to gain more confidence in his charge. Short right hand from Billy. Oh, oh, there's a big shot. Closing oh. seconds around six. And Billy finally on the attack. Somebody oh, stop this. Right hand Somebody stop this. Another right hand comes in, trying to chase him down at the oh end of six. Oh, my goodness. Let's listen in to the corner of Murdoch. You can fight another day, mate. You can fight another day. Chris Carden's been with Rohan Murdoch for 19 years since he was a young teenage amateur. But Christian and Billy in front of these fans, Quebecois have their man. The rising contender, the 28-year-old, now 26-0, Christian and Billy, number one super middleweight contender in two organizations who says, I want to fight with Canelo very soon. Corner did a good job in stopping this match. Anytime Murdoch was against the ropes, you had to expect it. And Billy just 
deploying vicious punches on the inside. He's a great inside fighter. Those punches are short, explosive, and compact shots, heavy shots. And he's able to throw those punches consistently throughout the course of his fight. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the Videotron Center in Quebec City, the blue corner stops this fight. Mesdames et messieurs, ici au Centre Videotron de Québec, nous avons un arrêt du coin bleu. For your winner, and still, WBC Continental Americas, WBA International Super Middleweight Champion, Christian Soli. The undefeated fighter who was born in Cameroon, then moved to France when he was 11 years old, made it to the French national team in the Olympics, and now a very good-looking super middleweight.